انكم لا تعلمون شيئا وجعل لكم السمع والابصار والعفدة لعلكم تشكرون فقال سبحانه وتعالى وعلى ليس للانسان الا ما سعى صدق الله العظيم Uh, guys, we have some chairs here, we can, so perhaps you guys can come here in front, including Miss Lindy. <laughs> yes, we have like three or four chairs here, you can come here in front. Yep. First of all, I would like to acknowledge and thanks to God Almighty who have helped us to reach this momentous momentous occasion. Indeed, without his assistance and blessing, we would not be here today. Secondly, I would like to express my deepest gratitude for the presence of our honorable guest speaker, Ms. Fatima. Maramin Salamatko for granting our request and invitation to be our guest speaker. I am thankful to the employers of our graduates. Do we have any employer here? Is there any student here with his employer? No. And friends, and all those who have helped them to reach this significant occasion. I appreciate ICSA instructors, staff, and most of all, ICSA students that made this remarkable event possible. So dear graduates, There are five most five most common things and approximately ninety percent of the whole world ninety percent of the people in the whole world they are around they're spending their life around these five things to achieve these five things in their life. So what are those five things? You know what I said? That 90% of the people around the world, they spend their day and night just to achieve these five things in their life. So number one, we have a very big fear in our heart, and the fear of poverty. Fear of poverty. We don't have to, we don't like to be poor, right? Or do you? No one like to be poor. Why do we don't like to be poor? Because we are afraid we might don't have enough food to eat or to feed our children or parents, right? Yes. And that is one reason that most of us are here in Kuwait, right? Yes. That's one of the main reasons. All of us, like 90% of the people in this world, they work hard, they struggle, they sweat, they fight to get what? good living, luxury life. And the second thing, it is a desire of everyone of us that how I wish that I have a nice clothes, good looking clothes, that I might stand by wearing the clothes, I will stand unique. They're totally different. Right. 
Okay. You, you wanted to look the most prettiest one, right? For wearing that dress. And that's what we are working for. Right? The third thing that every human wants to have that is their dream house. Many of us working here abroad from past five years, ten years, all what we have saved, we're trying to build our own house back in our country. And that is that is I can say that dream of all every one of us that how I wish I could have my own house. Nice house, dream house. Isn't it, Diva? And I believe some of you have worked it out already. Uh, by getting some on installment basis. The fourth thing that most of the people they work for, once they get once they get nice food, nice clothing, they able to get the home, they able to get their own house. Now their desire it is how I wish I could have a nice transportation, my own car. Divan, my own car. That's a dream of almost everyone, first one. And what is the fifth one? That I suppose to put it actually in the number one. That's loving spouse. Isn't it? It's a desire of every human. You cannot deny. Every one of us, we want to have loving spouse, right? Or you can say obedient wife, Diva. <laughs> or obedient husband. Isn't it? We just follow. So my dear graduates, all these things are our needs. What it is? Our needs. The person who run or the person who spend his life in achieving their needs will never able to become something big. Again I will repeat, the person who will spend all of their struggle, efforts, all of their time, complete dedication for their needs. Five of those I have counted it already and the rest there are many other. We never able to become a great person in their life because the great people they have different objective of their life. And you know what are, what are their objective? Their objective is not connected to their needs. Guys, I believe you know what is objective of life, right? You have a clear objective of your life. Is there any one of you who is not who doesn't not know what is their objective of their life? Please raise the hand. I will help you to. I will help you to decide or to have it to think it what should be the objective of the life. Yes, I'm not here to give speech. I'm here to have a dialogue with you. Yeah, please. Objective of the life, or let's say the purpose of life. The purpose of life. Is there any one of you who does not know what is the, what is the purpose of my life? Any one of you. Okay, let's go this way. Those who knows what is the purpose of my life, please raise the hand. One, two, three. Only three people raise the hand. Four. Yes. Four people. So it means it, it means to say the rest of the rest that does not know what is the purpose of their life, right? <laughs> Yeah. 
it's very dangerous believe me it's very dangerous it's just like this that you ride in a bus and the bus driver asks you where do you want to go and you say i do not know he will get scared of you you know that the moment you don't say that i do not know where i'm going he will get scared of you when think maybe maybe you are crazy right yeah. so that's what exactly it is for a minute we must think what is the objective of my life what i want to be where i want to be in coming 5 6 years 10 years what i want to achieve in my life and the same guys when you have a very clear objective then believe me it will take just few years for you to be the most successful person to be the most successful person i remember one of our guest speaker who was a <coughs> Uh, Philippine and um, who was ambassador of Philippine embassy here in Kuwait before corona i believe yes mr uh, do you remember his, his name villia mr villia pedro villia mr pedro villia he used to work in saudi arabia as a ofw in oil company and then one day he started thinking that till how long i will be just here in a working in a oil company as a staff god almighty have given me abilities why not to why not to shop these abilities and use in something which is, which will make me distinguished person he went for he went back for vacation and he had seen some announcement in the newspaper for the css exam for the exam the board exam and he appeared for the exam he passed the exam he got the job in the foreign affairs and he started from a small position and gradually he were able to become the ambassador of the philippine embassy here in goa and so there are a lot of example like this every one of us we have a potential to be something big in our life every one of us have a potential to be something big in our life and that will be that will be possible once you able to realize what are the hidden ability that do i have there are lot of abilities god almighty have given us to every one of us to every individual but unfortunately we are not using those <coughs> remember that the son or the daughter of professor will never able to become a professor unless he or she went through the same process that his father went you understand guys yes. knowledge it comes with the proper procedure and the procedure it is that you have to have um uh, interest desire and then passion then struggle work hard with complete dedication and then then you can be a outstanding person you will not be among those who are living here abroad from past 10 years 15 years on a same job same company and almost same position no change in their life why because there is no objective of their life their objective is not clear 
they are not able to realize themselves, they are not able to know themselves. So here, as an educational institute, this is what we always encourage to our student, that give value to your time, give value, if you wanted to give a value to yourself, you like to give value to yourself, you like to be respected, right? Every one of us would like to be respected, isn't it? Yes. So if you like to be respected, give respect to the time. Time is something which will pass and will never come back. Yes. Money, if you lost today, you might be able to have it tomorrow, some different ways, right? But the time, the minutes, the hour, the day, the month, the year, which passed from our life, we'll never able to get it back. So give value to the time. Respect. Respect the time that is a gift of God Almighty. It's a gift of God Almighty. Give a respect to this gift. And use it in a proper way, with proper planning. And then you will see the change. Change some or change or not something which will knock your door. Open the door. Here I am. Luck. Open the door. No. We have to create our luck by giving value to the time. So guys, I appreciate that by the blessing of God Almighty, indeed that you have taken very good steps while living here abroad to educate yourself. Today, Friday, if you go down here in the street, you will still find thousands of people booming around. And some of them, they do not know why they are there. Believe me, they do not know why they are there. They are sometimes standing here, then there, then there, then there, then going home. Alhamdulillah, that good thing that you are here in the educational institute, you spend your time like you guys, you have studied nine months, some of you have studied 18 months, and you are able to get your diplomas, worldwide recognized diploma. What, what was your what was your course? HSC, right? Yes. HSC as well, HSC. Is there any business management here? IT, business management, you, business management, very good. So, you have taken nine months back, you have taken a decision that I need to enroll this course, isn't it, right? And then you start, start visiting the school, start attending the classes and all. And today, here you are, wearing your toga, wearing your graduation cap, and graduating, and you're able to obtain your Diploma. So what does it mean that, that you are able to you're able to stand in a queue where the opportunity, door of opportunity is open for you? Yes. There are a lot of opportunities for you here in Kuwait and outside Kuwait. Right? But if you would have not taken this step you will be among those who are spending their time in TikTok, in WhatsApp, I mean, in this, I mean, spending time for something which gives nothing, right? And that's why you spend it here nine, nine months, that will give you a very, that will give you a fruit which you will enjoy it for the rest of your life. Likewise, you guys have taken computer secretarial course, some of you have taken office management course. You are a totally different person now than compared to five months back that you were having a difficulty even in, in Microsoft Word or Excel, in formulas, even making a presentation that was just like impossible. But now you are in a position that you can help your colleagues also and you can challenge, you can challenge others. Something which other cannot do, you can you can do it. Right? Yes. So 
Can I request everyone of all, everyone of us to give a big round of applause to 